Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Onos, and today I'm going to show you a trick with the big Sudama you may have noticed hanging around in certain spots in New Game Plus, Dream of the Strong. Full disclosure, this isn't my discovery, but I felt it would be really useful to push out to you guys in case you hadn't spotted the original find. It was found, I believe, by a channel called Killer Kiev. I'll link to the original video in the description if you want to go and take a look. So, following up on the video I did about leveling up your soul cores, this is another way you can spend some time farming for your perfect soul core if you haven't already got the attributes you want. It's a great way to get the perfect attributes on soul cores which you really don't want to farm for. So for me, I love using the Kasha soul core, but I hate farming for it. This is a great way for me to re-roll the attributes. If you enjoy the video guys and find it useful, please leave me a like or comment to let me know. Right, so you're going to need a few things to make this work. First, you need one of the big Sudama to trade with. I know of two that I can remember. One is in the mission Cherry Blossom Viewing in Daigo. The other is in the mission Ruin Draws Near in the Dark Realm just before you go to fight Shibata Katsui. I'm going to use the one in the Cherry Blossom mission to demonstrate this. Bear in mind that I haven't tested this process on the other Sudama in the Ruin Draws Near mission, so if anyone does, let me know in the comments if it works for you. So next you need two soul cores. You need one that you're looking to re-roll the attributes on, and another to give away as a sacrifice. In the example I'm going to show you, I actually got very lucky and the Sudama gave me something extra. This is not the normal result, so don't expect that every time. I'll show you this in action, but first I'll explain while the footage shows you the route to take to the Sudama. You can obviously get there faster than this if you're using Tiger Running and Sneak Thief scrolls. I did this the hard way to buy myself time to do some talking over the footage. So what you need to do when you find him is go up to the big Sudama and drop two soul cores for him. The first is the one you want him to reforge for you. The second is the one to be used as a sacrifice and nine times out of ten you will lose that one so just keep that in mind. What he normally does is take both and then give you the first soul core back with a different set of attributes on it. Occasionally he'll give you a little something extra if you get lucky but most of the time you'll just get the first soul core you dropped back with new attributes. So, let me show you this in action. I'll let the footage just play from here on so that you can see the roots of the Sudama, then we'll pick up the commentary again. Okay, so here he is. In this example, I drop a shooting doji soul core first. That's the one I want back. And I give him an Atokamaro soul core second as the one to be sacrificed. Now you can see here that he's actually given me back two soul cores. That's not usually what happens as I explained earlier. But if you notice, he's given me back a Kadama soul core along with my reforged shooting doji soul core. Anyway guys, that's how you do it. Happy farming. I hope you found it useful. Like and comment if you did. Sub if you're new and I'll wrap it up there. Thanks for joining me. See you for the next one. Stay safe. Bye bye now.